stop that rushing feeling. Let's get control of the body, let's get control of this right elbow by the end of this video. Now, this video is perfect. No matter if you're brand new to the game of golf, so many people are right now, or you've been playing the game for years and you're just not happy with your swing and happy with where that ball's going, let's do this. Also, a good point to make here as well, if you've got injuries, this video's still good for you. Okay, don't worry about them, let's take charge of it. So, what we're gonna need here is a bush. So at the back of the tee, in your garden in fact, this is gonna be great for you. So that rushing feeling, many people pulling down that handle and the arms really doing a lot of the work for you. Whereas we want to feel as though we can get the body working correctly. So what we're gonna do is, Place that drive right in front of you. Make sure it's sturdy in the ground. Don't do it so it can push away. We don't want you falling over. I want you to get just where you can grab the bush here. So, right arm down in front of you. Turn to the top. Now, many people in the downswing working over. No separation. Right arm working like this. Now, what we really want is in the downswing, the right arm working in front and the shoulder making this sort of external rotation. Okay, so what we're gonna feel is to get this, grab the bush, turn it to the top, start your downswing and get to this point here. What I want you to feel is you're gonna turn your wrist clockwise and then pull the bush. So you see here, Watch this, turn it clockwise, lower half goes, let it come in front. You're doing a few things here. You're getting the elbow to work correctly, you're also getting the wrist to work correctly, and this is a great way to prepare the downswing. Club face, shallow in the club, understanding how you get that club into the slot. So let me show you this again. To the top, grab the bush, turn it clockwise, Preparing the elbow, preparing the wrist. Now imagine where my golf club would be now. In, into impact. So what would that look like off the golf ball? Off the, off the golf ball? What would that look like on the golf ball, off the hedge? And I don't think there's anything wrong with you. If you're on the first tee, you're about to play your first tee shot, you're looking for that feeling, go and doing that. Your playing partners don't have to know what it's for. In your head, you know what it's for. You know it's for that feeling of this, not this. Starting the downswing in the correct sequence, the lower half, and turning the bush clockwise. So putting the golf club in my hand now, I'm gonna do this one-handed because I think you get a real good interpretation of what's actually happening. So grab it just short of where the head is and you can clearly see what it's happening with the head. Sometimes when this drive is so long, we sort of get detached with what's actually happening right at the end of this. So if we can understand what's happening here, we're gonna be a much better golfer. So grab it near the end. Over to the top. Start your downswing, twist it clockwise, bring it in. So really get that feeling of imagining you're twisting that bush clockwise. Well look what position him in at the last parallel now. Club face matching spine, right elbow gone from extended to a little bit of a flexion, a little bit of bend, and now we can extend on the way through. So it's all about that sequence of your downswing, lower half starting, turn the bush, clockwise into impact. So building this to the final stage really, putting your hands where they're meant to be. So we've gone from the bush, we've gone from holding it at the end and it's, it's a great way of bringing this into your golf game. Grip it. Stand over, swing to the top, twist it clockwise, bring it in. And I want this checkpoint at last parallel. Can our hips be slightly open? Can the club head be behind our hands? And can our shoulders be sort of a little bit close to target line? Then we can just release and move through to target. And I noticed somebody actually commented the other day and saying, oh, that right shoulder feeling of to target was the best part of that video for me. And it, I really like that because that gets us turning up and extended through. And if you actually, by the way guys, uh, video up here, if you want a little bit more about what extending through to target looks like, there's some more information on that. 
So if you're stuck inside at the minute though, and you haven't got a bush, let me show you what else you can do for this. Next thing is to grab a wall and grab your head cover. And also thank you to Bramwell Park Golf Club for letting me film down here. It's been an absolute savior from being uh, in the garden. And thank you for Craig for letting me use this fantastic swing room. Grab your head cover, left hand on right shoulder, move the top of the back swing, put it on the side of the wall here. Lower half goes first, turn the head cover clockwise into position. Now the best thing about this is actually the head cover just allows itself to come down the wall. We're preparing the wrist, we're getting that external rotation, the right shoulder, into impact and through. So this is a great way of building it from the bush if you've only got a bush or if you've got your head cover and a bit of a slippy wall, lower half first, turn it clockwise, bring it into impact. So there are some fantastic stages to bring this whole feeling into your golf game. Final reminder here now on, we're getting to the first tee now, a bit nervous, how do we get some good feelings? How do we take this to the golf course? Actually, how do you bring this into a pre-shot routine? I would simply do it like this. I'd give yourself sort of a feeling of, number one, first practice swing. Actually just picturing the shot that you're about to hit. Whether you're a fader, whether you're a drawer of the golf ball, whatever that might be, have that sort of at the forefront of your mind. Always let the shot dictate the swing. But if we're thinking for a swing thought, can we make perfect or a good, what is your perfect backswing? Clockwise turn, in, release, Think of the shot, walk in and go. So all I'm feeling is clockwise turn at the top is a great way to start your downswing. Stop rushing it, get the arms and the body working together for some more speed, some more accuracy and consistency.